Jonathan recognizes faith and finds a kindred heart. After David brought down Goliath with that whammy from that little stone, Saul didn't let David leave. King Saul insisted David stay and be a part of his army. That same day, something very special happened. David gained the closest friend he would ever have, Jonathan. Jonathan saw David's courage, faith, clarity, respect, humility, all that good God stuff. And immediately, Jonathan liked David a lot. Jonathan loved David as much as he loved himself. The Bible says Jonathan's heart was bound to David. That's a cool thought, isn't it? Jonathan was a mighty warrior, the son of King Saul, an important guy. But he right away loved David so much that he couldn't help but want to do something for David. So Jonathan had an idea. He took off his royal robe and handed it to David. Here, David, I want you to have this beautiful robe. But that didn't seem like enough to Jonathan. So he took off his fighting gear, his sword, his bow and arrows, and his belt, and gave it all to David. Here. Take these. I want to stick with you and be friends with you my whole life, Jonathan told David. David liked Jonathan, too. That day, David and Jonathan made a big promise to watch out and take care of each other, to be their brother's keeper. Do you think they became close friends because they had the same favorite color or favorite food, or because they liked to play the same games or made each other feel happy? I don't think so. The best and lasting relationships are the God-centered ones. Remember Jonathan's faith in God when he and his armor bearer took off after God's enemies all by themselves? Could it be that Jonathan recognized that same faith inside David when David took off across that field after Goliath? People with faith recognize faith. People with faith have heaven-seeing eyes and people with heaven eyes recognize people with God's anointing spirit resting on them. I wonder if when Jonathan saw David slay that giant, his heart started boom, 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 beating happily and excitedly within him. I wonder. I wonder if when David walked by, it was like a little piece of heaven on earth passed by. After that day, David started doing really well at everything he did. And Jonathan wasn't the only one who could see there was something really special about this little David fella. Even though most people didn't know Samuel had poured the anointing oil on David's head, people with heaven eyes could see clearly by David's life that God's anointing, God's special blessing, was with David. 